For about a month, COVID cases have been heading down in Arkansas, but we've been here before. Four times, in fact, and even though the tide has been going out, the decline is not moving very quickly. Nearly the entire state is still at high transmission. And we've talked a lot about how powerful vaccines and masks are. Tonight, we're shining a spotlight on testing, and in particular, rapid testing. Fast results mean fast action. We may be up against an invisible enemy, but we can still fight as long as we know where it is. As cases surged in Arkansas, testing increased. But as THV 11's Ashley Godwin shows us, with the rest of the country facing the Delta disaster, supplies have gotten tight. They're in demand all over the country, and so um, both of those companies are behind in production, and so it's it can be hard to find. In the past few months, the popularity of do it at home COVID-19 test kits have soared, selling out at some pharmacies. Remedy Drug in Little Rock has them in stock. Philip Way, a co-owner of the pharmacy, has noticed several customers coming in to buy them in bulk. Not necessarily people that thought they were sick with COVID, but uh, had been exposed and just places that required a negative test for them to come back. The take home kits can cost upwards of $30 with two tests in the box. If you do get a positive test, it is asked that you report it to the Department of Health so the state can keep up to date numbers. Remedy Drug has made it easy to do that. And so we've made stickers that we put on each of the kits that we sell and we counsel the patient. Uh, and encourage them to ask any questions, call up here if they have any questions when they get the kid out. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Now yesterday, President Joe Biden said he would invoke the Defense Production Act to increase the supply by 280 million tests. Pharmacists expect the price of these kits to come down as the supply improves.